while she's checking that, let me go ahead and, and um, re-show this. It's day for those of you who are online. Desiree Chepichikados. I'm just here um, teaching our class. We have a little bit of an issue, so now we're back. All right, this is what we're going to show, and this is what for future one tense negation for module three. This is in the Google Drive. Each one tense negation shows that someone's not going to do something. There's no L grading like we had in, in uh, module one. Future one negation rules drop your ETB, add a tense marker upon. And uh, that means going to, you're going to do something. Add your person marker up, uh, it's for nothing. Add your negation if it's full or equal, which is not. I am, so I put it here, I'll put in there in parentheses, not. Add your subject marker P, add your auxiliary verb, auxiliary verb, false, which you mean, and R is, I will put that there as well. All right, you guys got your handouts, and let's see. You're going to try to just take your classroom terms for the handouts and look at those. Were you able to get on? Um, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. I know. <laughs> All right. I don't for let me know. Glad, glad we, we got this working. Okay, so our classroom terms is, and these are some of the things that I'm trying to learn as well. So when you guys ask questions like, I don't know, he sucks, he sucks, he sucks, I don't know, then I, it helps me to remember because I have to hear it as well. I have to remember. And the, the more we use things, the more we remember. <laughs> And uh, have a seat, leggy bus. So I guess we should have come in, say leggy bus, <laughs> have a seat. And then Hadam Magus, say it again. Hadam Magus. And then Amanagis. Help. So you can raise your hand, Amanagis. Help. Marble Pages. Listen. Pages. Oh, Pages. What I did on this one is I looked it up in the dictionary, and if you see it's got the little mark over it right here on the edges, that shows that it, in the dictionary it's pronounced with the A instead of the long E. But at the same time, I've certainly heard people say edges, but in the dictionary it has a short E, so edges. It's up to you how you say that. I've heard, like, I've, I've mentioned before, I've heard some people say Eva for dog. I learned Eva. So I know people say things different, and I've had people stop me and say, you're saying this wrong, and I just smile because it just depends on how you grew up, what region you grew up on, how you say things. So, uh, like I said, I just looked in the dictionary and it says teaches for look, but if you say teaches, that's fine. Bitcoinus, stop. And you can see the little mark over the E, Bitcoinus. And then Mahaya, teacher. And then you, it's so good to see you. Shahiji, Shahijaye, Shaya, Ibitos. I know it's harder for me to say it slow. And, and like I said, I put all of this stuff with the speaker speaking it because, like I said, I can hear it in my head. But sometimes speaking it, the connection is not quite there. And I know I sound choppy, but in my head, I sound really good. <laughs> so that's why I teach this. And, and some of the speakers ask me about, about, you know, why, you know, ask me, because I always ask, can you, can you say these words for me? And then like, look at me like, I'm like, I'm teaching, but I'm still learning. So they don't hear that spice or the intonation or the tones. So that's why I have them. So I have this and it, it's hooked up. Hopefully it'll play on this one screen. But um, so you can hear us say it and us pronounce it. And then when I play it, you can hear it on the screen. Right? So. Can you say that again? I'm, I'm, <laughs> so we're going to sound it out. G, G, A, D, 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 D,
And that's why I also break it down into our syllables, because I know sometimes, you know, I have to uh, look at each thing broken down and it makes it easier because, um, like I said before, in the Scoby, there's no silent words. Everything is equal. It's equal representation. Like, um, uh, let's see. Like, let's see if I can find like the H, sometimes you have two H's and it's not the he sound like when we practice in our, our Muscogee words and our Muscogee alphabet, it's the it's just a breath. You know, some of, some of our uh, sounds are just a breath, it's just a hint of something. So I would say that's more like a spice of, of, our, of our language, all right? So, and another thing that somebody also stopped me about is sometimes it's the uh, yeah. easy oh, yeah. Sometimes people switch places of the T. Yeah. You guys have a question? Did I, um, I was just asking about that. Put it here. Uh -huh. Is it Ian or Hayen? Hayen. Hayen? Because the off. Like the A, ah, I am. Olympus. Olympus. Ha, Mian. Olympus. Olympus. Okay. I know I've seen some things change in spelling, but uh, I can Okay. I will check that. I will check. That. If it's he in or high, 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 all the dictionaries are not the same no. because we did have that happen more than once in, in the Muscogee language program. The green dictionary said one thing, black dictionary said another thing. There was another white dictionary. I think altogether I had four or five different dictionaries and some of us like really old school. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, I will look that up, but I know I did have, uh, when I, before I present anything, I always have our instructors, our other Mahais look at it. So if we missed it, you know, that's, that's one of the things I got by. Okay. So the way this is um, um, spelled is Hayen Olegis. And then put it here. Jonga Hija is student. And it looks like there should be a, a space between Jonga Hija. And um, just just put a mark there to know that there's a space. And it could be not Chogahija too. That's another spelling that I've seen in the dictionaries. Not Chogahija, Chogahija. All right. Do you understand me? And keep that. And keep Do you understand me? So that helps you to to uh, try to put it all together. So since we've got that one down, let's see if it actually will. We can see if we can hear. He sucks. Leggy bus. Adam Magus Amanages Mabohages He just Fikunas Mahaya Chihijaya He see toast He an Uhlages Choga Hija Angifiska So now you can hear how the uh, 
speaker species and how we are sounding it out and trying to put it together. And sometimes when some of these um, letters are put together, some of these sounds are put together, it creates a different sound. And you will, so the yeah, the Hakian Olegis. That's the way, that's how, that's how she pronounces it. So that A right here is the B. Yeah, that's it. So I can go back and change that. I want to take that. So when we um, go through the classroom, if you have a question, try to use one of these. You know, if I'm going too fast, or you, you know, just say bonus, bonus, stop, or um, you know, help, manages. And then I will try to remember <laughs> because you guys are going to be speaking, and then I'm trying to remember it. I forgot this is the one where I don't have a I don't have a here it is. In my class in my classroom I have a little bit more stuff to play with here to get out of this. You want me to draw or zoom? I think I'm not <laughs> okay. So, right. I was going to ask you a question. <laughs> <laughs> easier to get out of them. All right. So now on the um, on the Zoom, on the Google Drive, you have all of this. I have put I have put um, the copy right here. So um, when I teach the copy is uh, is not the slideshow. <laughs> the one that is the slideshow and is hooked up to right here in the classroom ones. The one that anything that says copy I'm just here it's just a static one. So that's the one I'm teaching from. So it doesn't start because I have all of the uh, slideshow um, for PowerPoint to automatically start when you guys get in. Okay. So you don't have to sit there and try to press on it or anything. Try to make it as easy as possible. <laughs> all right. Here are infinitive verbs. Infinitive verbs. So take a look at your infinitive verb. Yeah. And um, you can use for our classroom or, or you know, for anything, uh, module one, module two, module three, and the difference to sing. You can get up. So I'm going to go ahead and say it. And then you guys, you can get up to sing. Go ahead to hear. Go ahead to speak. For J Jida, to write, Okon to read, to read, yes. And then to get Kida to cry. Get Kida. Yes. Athada to go about. Don't get up to work. So you can see those are our new infinitive verbs. And um, even for module one, module two, module three, you guys have the templates for module one, you know. Module two, module three, you got, you've got the templates that I've provided for you guys. So you can just plug and play these in there as well. So um, like for um, module one, I, I am singing, that's module one, then module two, I, I apologize, we've got so much stuff going on here. Uh, module two, we did, um, let me refresh me what we did. We did, we did third person. So module one, we did first, second, and third person. I am eating, you are eating, we are eating. And the last one was um, they are, she is. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Mahaya. 
<laughs> so these are new infinitive verbs. You see that's the copy. And then when you go to the infinitive verbs here and then start the slideshow, you will hear them speaking. Yeah, hey, Gida. Bohida. Abonayida. Ho chejida. Oho nayida. Hage kida. Aseda. Adot kida. That one where she was, uh, she paused, that was my handwriting. <laughs> so, I was like, does that not make sense? If she was looking, it was my handwriting. <laughs> That's why there's some problems. But right here, is, uh, it's, uh, you can hear both of the, the H's, but one's more of the So that's one of the things I was talking about is sometimes some of the, the sounds are or just a breath, not quite the he sound like you would think of an age. Yeah, kind of like a breath. Yeah. And that, that's one of the things I learned was the two sounds together. Sometimes one is just more of a, a breath or, or, you know, sound, but it isn't there. <laughs> and one of the things that when we were in, when I was in college, she would um, say something and you would have to write it down. And that was so hard, like Daba, Daba. And you're like, she would have, and that would be our, her, um, it the real word. It was the real word, mm -hmm. Daba. Mm -hmm. Does anybody, so anybody know what Daba means? Yeah. Yeah, there. Mm -hmm. So it would be C, uh, C, uh. And that's how you would spell it out because the T, D, mm -hmm. and then A would be A, B, F, A, B, A, B. Remember the A. Uh. And so that's how she would test us like Dava. Um, let's see some of the other words. I can't even think of them right now, but you know, like Volkina, Volkina. That's what, uh, you know, she would say the word, we would have to sound it out. So you have to sit there and listen for each part of the word. So if I said something like, you would try to listen for the, yeah. Yeah. And so those of you who've heard Mahaya Barnett talking and she's talking about spelling, that's what she's talking about is the Muscogee sounds. She doesn't like to say the alphabet. So she says the Muscogee mm -hmm. sounds. So when she says sound it out in the Muscogee sound, it makes uh, the A or uh, it could be A or E and then P. Uh, that's what she's talking about. And that's one of the things that, you know, we were talking about how to switch your brain from thinking English to Muscogee is just everyday words, like you're at the stop sign. C, E, O, C, stop, like the stop sign. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're driving down the street and you see Main Street, me, um, A, me, Main, Main Street. So those are the sounds of the Muscogee, just to keep yourself in practice. And sometimes I do that, and sometimes, you know, um, I just test myself and play little games. I don't know. I, the thing about, about learning a language is sometimes it's really boring. When you're sitting in a classroom and you're not speaking and you're not, you know, you're just having to say, this is how we do this. This is how we do that. Sometimes it's really boring. So I try to play with myself uh, in doing games like that. All right. So our phrases. And these are some, like I was talking about before, we were looking at having a dinner at the end of our classroom time. And these are some of the phrases that we can um, use. Not jump out the object. 
And I've seen it Giaja like this, and I've seen it all together. You know, right here. But right here, Giaja. That's how um, one of my um, classroom books had Giaja. But I've also seen it recently, all as one word. So it's, it can be either or, but this is how I've seen it in, in the class book that I was researching. But I also see Giaja when I see Mahaya Barnett presenting something else. Okay. Not Shumba, Giaja. What is that in a How do you say that in a Jumba, Giaja. Remember the ah, uh, not Jumba, Giaja. And I will have a uh, speaker speaking afterwards after we sound it all out. So you can hear how a speaker would say. And that's, do you want dessert? Do you want more Hadam Giaja? So, you know, again, it's Hadam, and then do you want Giaja? Do you want water? And you have Iwa and Owa, because some people say Iwa still, and some people say Owa. Giaja, do you want water? And then, uh, do you want to drink? Nagi Kiskira Giaja? Sometimes I hear people say, Iskida, Iskida. Um, there, I've asked the uh, speakers, and there's no definite way to know if it's a long E or a short E. Like I said, Ipa is how I learned for dog, and Ipa is how other people learn for dog. Do you have, do you have something to drink? Not Iskida or Jitka? And then what time is it? Let's see, a gifka, no joma. And then where's the bathroom? It's the man, Kuguchi, Oji, Oji, Joa. And Mahaya Burnett, have you put the O C E O T, Joa? She said that that was the correct spelling of that, correct sentence. But that you can use anywhere, you know, if you're. You're a Target, you're a Walmart, you're, you know, some big chain store. You know, I'm going to, oh, where's the bathroom? I'm sorry. Where's the bathroom? I'm not home going. I must have switched it. Where's the bathroom? It's the men, Chugaji, Oji, Doa. Where's the bathroom? And I am going to the bathroom. Chugaji, I is. Chugaji, I is. So I know I used to tell my kids, I'm going, I'm going to Chugaji. Now I can say Chugaji, I is. And I'm, you know, that's another step of me teaching them, even even one word, I is, I'm going. Who would you, I am. I'm going to the bathroom. I want a drink. Iskida, Giaja. And she said that you could put Giaja, but she said that there's times when you drop the last one, Iskida, Giaja, and she'll, you'll hear it on here. And I asked her, when do you know when to drop them? She I said, know. Uh -huh. That ish ish is I want a drink, whereas that jiaja is do you want? Okay. So if you say ish kida jiaja is do you want a drink? If you're saying ish kida I want a drink. Okay. Well, that makes sense. All right. Did everybody hear that? <laughs> but oh, like I said, we're. We're all learning, and um, I do ask some of these questions to the Mahayas. And um, is there a, another word that be like Ishkidan Nayati? You're not asking a question on this, you're asking, you're saying you might have heard. Yeah, I'm going to say that. Ishkidan Nayati. That's not the best I know that there's more than one way to say it. Yeah. Because um, one time we sat down and we were asking a question, and they got 10 different ways to ask the same question with different words and different word orders. So it just all depends on who you're talking with, what words they choose to use, and you can say the same thing. And it is part of the learning. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Thank you. Uh, like I said, I've learned um, from not hearing the, the sound of where going, and it, it's hard. So I'm trying to show you guys the way I learned to make it a little easier. And you have people who already know more than I do, have people who know less than, than where I'm at right now. I'm just trying to bridge the gap and still go for the time. All right. But, you know, asking questions and, you know, with all the input is, is really awesome because not only are you guys learning, but I'm learning as well. And there's some things that I'm going to put forth that you guys don't know, some things you guys put forth that I don't know. So I think it's a really good dynamic to learn back and forth on, um, on all of these. So here's this one. So... Number three. Uwa Chiaja or Wiwa Chiaja. Four Chiaja. What do you want to drink? Five. Nak iskida ojacha. Six. Hasiskika Najoma. Seven, istaman chuguji uji dua. Eight, chuguji ayes. Nine, iskida chayach. Ten, maskogi githida yikchidos. So this is out there in the Google Drive. There's a practice with that. And you can see how we're trying to go through that. It sounds a little bit choppy and a little bit... You can scoot over if you like. <laughs> All right, because I see you. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to sit on my fourth side. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So these are the phrases that we're going to try to learn. So I ask you guys to practice. And next time when we have class, we will say it again and again and again. And keep practicing. And then I will add some more vocabulary to our words. So we have, we can have these kind of decent conversations. So we two from our notes. This is um how to make it a little easier so you can see it step by step. So, right here, here's your two template, and these are your infinitive verbs. You just plug and play into your template, infinitive verbs. Um, right here, like I said before, keep it up was my favorite example to use because we all have that in common. Keep it up. This one is not playing like I can. So I'm in PowerPoint, and this one is not. So what I did and what I showed in the classroom is set up to eat, and it has each step. But for some reason, this one. Not if I wanted to share it. Okay, so home it up. Right here, put the home it up. Can you guys see? I know it's kind of hard to see. But home it up right here, you put your home it up. Add your to eat. Number three. Okay, there it is. Home it up. And I don't know why it's not going to the full screen. For the uh, slideshow, you've got you drop your ETV. If anybody is familiar with uh, PowerPoint, 
All right. So you can drop your PTV, you get your verb stamp. I wish I could show it a little bit easier. See that plus sign on the right here? See if you can take that. It just makes the Alex.
So when I was learning this, um, we were talking about cooking. So I learned the word uh, and I had conjugated and not going to cook. So I kept repeating that to my husband and he caught on, I'm not going to cook. I'll say Jim, I'll say Jahan. Stay jump on the old books. I'm not going to cook. Yep. All right. Does anybody have any questions on, on the breakdown of how to use this template? Like I said, this example is in the Google Drive. So it goes from step by step by step right here to how you where you put it in here. I'm not going to sing. You hang it up. And then put to sing. And then right here, you would put you hang it up. It would show you here to mark off the ETV. And that would be your birth date. And hang it up on, hang up on that, you hang it on it full. You hang up on that goal, and then you add your goals. You hang up on that goal, goals. It would be right here. I don't have my, my uh, pencil tool with me. Hang up on that goal, goals, and if you say down here, I am not going to see. But you hang it up, they hang up on that goal, goals. I'm not going to see. All right, does anybody have any questions? Is that making sense to everybody on how? To conjugate step by step, huh? slowly. slowly, and that's that's why I try to not overwhelm people when I teach because we had to sit in class for a an hour, and it would get to the point where she had filled us up so much with all this information, all the new places, all the new foods, everything. And my my mind was just full, <laughs> so. Once your mind is full, and I've even talked to my daughter on the call right now, she goes, take about 45 minutes and then I'm done. But absorbing everything that she's learned and everything that the teacher has instructed. Uh, so that's what I have for you today. Let me go ahead and share with you this. Hopefully it's all I've been you guys before. I'm the work of the day. And I showed you guys last time that the words of the day are right here, the sounds. Which is awesome because, like I said, I'm only I'm only going to be there for time. But that is here. These are the new ones. You guys are thinking of what is happening because due to everything going on, I have got a few times to catch you up. We've got May. I've got June. I'm finished with June. And you just remember when you you know anybody who works any place, you've got to. Put it to the supervisor. Does the supervisor have any questions or suggestions? It goes back down. You got to change. It goes back up. So that's why some of the things um, take a little long time. Is uh, you got to get the go ahead and publish. These are already. A thlaquichka. So five phrases in a spoken way. And these are some of the things that we have in our office. So some of the things that we see every day, I thought I'd share with you guys. Some of these things are things that we don't hear or know about. And I thought that was cool to, to see all of this. I thought I would share with you guys. But that was one of the things that we have in there. And um, like I said, these have been approved. So I'm showing you guys, you guys have complete access to all of this in uh, the Google Drive. And I'm on May. I've got June already done, but it's in the process of being approved. Because sometimes I have to get some of the six to get over. I know we'll get you I know you were asking about that. I know we'll get you. Okay. 
Usually it'll go up and then come back down and it will allow me to go to the next one. Um, it's a little bit more difficult on the next one. You know, besides looking at the uh, the new uh, words of the day, that's all I have for you guys. But I thought these are really uh, something to share with you guys. That's, that we see this in the office all the time. Some of these uh, traits of the Muskogee way, respect, love, trait three is manners, trait four is, uh, is sharing, trait five is trustworthy. So these are, like I said, some of the things that we've seen Who both need to that? Is that a skill? Is that a skill? No, he doesn't work there anymore. Oh, he doesn't? He doesn't work there. I don't think he worked there since last year. Oh. Yeah. That was Mahaya Stephen, which you spoke with today. <laughs> He was the one that was holding up. Yeah, he was the one that was holding up. And then, uh, you think a bay to that? And who said that? So we'll get to that. He see those. Some of this stuff is also what we have at the Call of Muskogee Nation. Some of the sayings that they have. So I thought that was pretty cool because a lot of the thing is inspiring, trying to get us to learn our language. And so uh, I just um, took some of their sayings that they have here. It's the Muskogolgi, Baksongi, Muzanetta. Boxy. So many people yesterday, today, tomorrow. And that, like, that's just um, things that, uh, that I, I've seen at the College of Discovery Nation to inspire and to help our people think about our language. But, you know. Me jalogi. E yaskira. You can hear the the beautiful sound of our Muskogee words in you know the whole day. These are how learn some of the things, some of the tricks, some of the things that our Muskogee language covers, um, trustworthy, sharing, some of, one of the things that some of the Mahayans and I were talking about in our language is our culture, and part of our culture is sharing, you know, trustworthiness, um, respect, and all of that, and one of the things we were talking about was like when we're sitting there, we're having a meal, and we say, you know, pasta, chamba, or something like that, and you say something, it's always in, inferred in the language that it's a respectful way of doing it. We always hear somebody ask, well, what's the bad words in Muskogee? I know how many people have asked me that. What's the bad words in Muskogee? I'm like, well, first of all, Muskogee, there are no bad words originally. You know, I'm sure that I said you can call somebody a body part <laughs> and that would be a bad word. But then, you know, um, same thing when I was a child, I asked my mom, why is the middle finger bad? You know, somebody holding up the middle finger. And she said, it's not. It was never made to be bad. People put these things as being bad, but it's not. But, you know, if you don't go to a country and show, you know, show the offensive thing. But, you know, that's the same thing with the Muscogee uh, culture and the language. It's, it's not bad. There's no bad words. And respect is kind of implied in a line, our language. It's not like... You know, not like demanding like other cultures. Ah, you know, give me that over there. 
hand it to me. That's not how it's, um, it, it's originally, um, um, that's not how my spoken language originally is. It's not with attitude, give me that. Go sit down, you know, not, it's just like, go sit down. <laughs> I told you 50 times, go sit down, you know. But that's one of the things that we were talking about. So some of the things that I've got here, like uh, wisdom, humility, uh, are things that are in our language, that are in our culture. We don't hear it a lot. And one of uh, some of the things that we were talking about as well is, is um, a lot of our young ones were not being taught these things, you know, um, because of some of the things that they watch on TV. So we're trying to, you know, just simple things like this is trying to reinforce me. You know, um, wisdom. Sometimes you can be in an argument, but it doesn't mean you have to have the last word or just mean you can just, you know, it's okay. You're not going to listen to me walk away. These are some of the things that I don't think are taught, but in our culture, I think we have, those of us who, who um, have been around elders know, sometimes when they're quiet, that's when you're this time for you to be quiet, or sometimes my mom would just, you know, just give me that look. <laughs> no disrespect, but that was a respect for me to say, oh, okay, I need to stop. You know, some of these little things that um, we try to put into our, our uh, teachings and our language. Um, so I put it on the on Instagram or Facebook, whatever she chooses to put it on. But uh, if anybody have any questions, those are the rest of the main words of the day. Like I said, these are the uh, trustworthiness and, and learning about our Muscogee that I put out there. The next one for, for June is our Muscogee planet. So each plan has a has a different day. Um, there are so many plans that I don't think I put all of them out there because some of them they said are extinct. And people, and a lot of these plans, plans they have. it depends on which person you ask. Um, for total, I heard that originally there were like 30 plans, but some in the movement from our homelands um, died out. And then even so, if they're, if they're um, descendants survived, people don't know their plan. So there might be people in these plans that don't know, you know, because that that was passed down in the family and was really not written down with plan anymore. So um, I know I heard originally about 30, um, it's dwindled down. I, I think I saw maybe about 19 or 20 on, on the words of the day. Um, that also I put on there that it goes to your mother. Some of these things people don't know. You know, and I just try to inform you guys while I'm trying to share the, the, uh, the language. Well, if you guys have any suggestions for, for words of the day in the future, just let me know because um, I'm, I like to get out there and try to research as well. So I can put everything out there and ask questions. You know. All right, does anybody have any questions? We have everything good to go. All right. All right, I'm going to say Mado and Madame Chiki Chikapis. That is also part of the day. Chiki Chikapis, Madame Chiki Chikapis, Chiki Chikapis. I'm going to use them because I didn't know um, Chiki Chikapis is for one person. Chiki Chikapis is for everyone. So these are some of the things I'm learning that I'm putting on there on Instagram and Facebook. All right, say Mado. Thank you for coming. Next time, y'all.